The sales event is here. I can guide you in. No thanks, Santa. I got this. Hey, it looks a little tight. Perfect fit. Santa needs an F-150. That's Ford, America's best-selling brand. Hurry in for 0% financing for 72 months across a full lineup of Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs. Get F-150 with 0% for 72 months plus 1,000 bonus cash. Plus, if you've ever served in the military, you get an additional 1,000 appreciation cash. Did you know you can still get a refreshing any size soft drink for just one dollar at mcdonald's with the days getting shorter and your to-do list getting longer you'll enjoy this ice cold deliciousness more than ever hurry over to mcdonald's welcome back women's college hoops maryland miami this was a one point game after three quarters but the terps turned it on in the final period this Shanice Lewis layup put Maryland up by 10 with four minutes to go. And the Terps go on to win it by eight. And we're winning in studio right now because we have Locked On Wizards podcast host Ben standing with us. We didn't run him off yet, so we're no. going to talk Wizards a little bit now. John Wall, we learned he's going to be out for at least two weeks as he deals with that knee injury. And we saw last night, Ben, how much they really miss him. Look, obviously, he's one of the best players in the league, an elite point guard. The entire offense starts with him. I would argue also their defense starts with him because he's in charge of really slowing things out on the perimeter so guards can't penetrate. I wouldn't so much say that they put the loss against Portland on his absence. I mean, they were up 17 points in the fourth quarter without him. His replacement, Tim Frazier, did some good things. Bradley Beal and Otto Porter largely stepped up, but second game in a row, boy, they just collapsed. But in terms of the bigger picture of the wall, I think they can get by for two weeks. This knee injury, it's a little curious to me what it's all about. I'm not a doctor for the record. Right. So if it goes beyond two weeks, that's when I'll start getting concerned about what the Wizards have. I think for now, they can get by. We'll see. Yeah, hopefully this isn't something that's going to linger and be an ongoing issue for John Wall and the Wizards. Now, having said that, Washington has blown late leads in back-to-back -back games now. Close Closing out games has sort of been an issue for this team this season. You know, early on, even some games that they won, they blew some leads late. Now teams are starting to, to get past them. The, uh, Wednesday before Thanksgiving, uh, they had a nine-point lead with three-plus minutes to go, lost at Charlotte. Seven, up 17 with eight-plus to go, Saturday lost to Portland. And if you look at some of the advanced stats out there, in the first, second, and third quarter individually, the Wizards are among the top ten teams when you look at things like net ratings, points per 100 possessions. The fourth quarter, they're like 26. Mm. They're, they're just, Something's going on in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and, and you know, Bradley Beal, Scott Brooks talked after the game Saturday about, you know, the need to, you know, keep the foot on the gas, you know, things that we can imagine athletes say. But they really, this is not a, this is not a joke. They really have to figure out how to, how to do this. It's not just enough to get the lead breaking news you got to keep it right and then on the heels of that Otto Porter he's been looking good but also struggling late in games not getting the shots that he wants what's going on there it, it, it's it's an interesting thing Otto Porter has continued to improve throughout his career he's having a spectacular year based on his num of the stats he could argue he's been their best player over the course of the season but it's a curious thing we saw it again Saturday he's being a, he's aggressive he's getting some shots but when he gets to the later stages of the fourth quarter falls not there getting to him is it him? He needs to be more aggressive. Is it that they're not running plays? Scott Brooks said it's a combination of all. I think they have to design more plays for him. He had opportunities Saturday against Damian Lillard, a much smaller player, to post up inside. They didn't get him the ball. They need to figure out a way to, especially with that wall, to forcefully put the ball in his hands and let him make some plays. Yeah, and with seven of the next eight games on the road, they're going to have to figure this out quickly. Ben Standing, thank you so much. You can follow him on Twitter at Ben Standig and still ahead a high school student hasn't let down syndrome stop him from excelling on the football field Scott Abraham is back with our rising star next they're looking at the McPick two two for five deals all across the board here it comes a big match and 10-piece McNuggets. They got them. Get your fan favorites on the McPick 2 menu. Choose any two for just five bucks. They did it. Unbelievable. <laughs> Whew, that was close. Come on. Uh-oh. Better get Mako. This holiday season, take advantage of Mako's bumper paint special for only $99. Mako, America's body shop. Before we start, I just want to say if anyone still knows enough Fios, please stay out of the way so your lag doesn't get us all killed. Ben, what's so good about Fios anyway? Uh, what's so great about a 100% fiber optic network that makes your gaming system actually work awesomely? Hey, did you take out the trash? <laughs> Garbage boy. Dad, I already took out Ben. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> 
Gaming is best on a 100% fiber optic network. So get Fios, now just $79.99 per month with a two-year price guarantee with a two-year agreement. What's the secret behind the most unique drink ever? Fresh ingredients, a dash of magic, and a whole lot of laughter. Made from scratch, right at your table. Experience the 3 2, one drink only at Uncle Julio's. This is our workshop. These are our lights. Performance is our tradition. And this is the TLX. Take advantage of some of the best offers of the year at the Acura Seasonal Performance event going on now. Visit DC.